God made it all. He didn't even make a mistake. He didn't even think hard. God made this all in seven days. Wrote in pen and ink, didn't erase a thing. Whoa, look at... Now, the next time that you're walking home in the cool of the night, and you look up into God's own black velvet sky, and you see one of his stars shooting silver trails through his ebony heavens, I want you to ask yourself one simple question. Who made this? I'm going to give you the answer. God made it. And he saw that it was good. Why be afraid of nuclear war? Welcome it, for it is a part of God's prophecy. Two billion people will die, but don't despair. Rejoice! War, pestilence, famine will reign, but when the Lord comes, you ain't seen nothing yet. So burn, baby! Burn!
Jesus, not you too. Quack, quack. Give me some cigarettes. All right. Hey. What? Get me a moon pie, too. Marlboro. <laughs> now, give me all your moon pies. You little shit! Darla. Now we're just $50,000. That's all, brothers. Just $50,000. Short of today's goal of $1 million. That's $1 million dollars for Jesus. Jesus. Call, people. Make those phones ring. Let's hear from you. $1,000 from Texas. Hey. Come on, do it for Darla. That's $500 from Little Rock. You're doing great, darling. I pledge $100. A thousand. A thousand. I ain't got it. Oh, there it is. Oh, hell. All right, oh, get this code board up, get it up. Oh, great, Jesus, I got it. I got $1,500 from Jerry Point. That's it. That's it. Oh! Ready Q26. Ready God commercial. Don't you dare be sacrilegious. Not in my booth. Q. Go God commercial. This is my boss. Jesse, I can't. You don't like it? Like it. I ain't quite a hang when I got a necklace like this one. <laughs> Not anymore. Damn it! That ain't funny. You're gonna get caught. I'm never gonna get caught. It's just plain wrong. It's stealing. Hey, the old bat I got this from gave her cat a diamond choker for Christmas. It don't make it right. Besides, 
and God, all the fun's gone to happen to you. I can feel it. No need for jewelry. I don't need a thing in God's green earth but you. You're gonna have it all. <laughs> Baby, we got it all. Hell, I worked this little nothing farm all my grown life. And if we can just live here the rest of our lives, I will be the happiest woman since Eve. You're gonna live in a palace. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ, Joe Arnold, what the hell are you guys doing? I heard her scream. How about somebody getting you? Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. Ah! 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 What are y'all doing here? You got any uh, belly wipers, cuz? There, honey. We're gonna get your money back. Hey, brother! And sisters, oh, you've got an eye on you. It's a debt you owe to Jesus for all he's done for you. For us to send his message, we need your help. It's understood. So dig deep, and I do mean deep. In your pockets, and give till it feels good. Lay your money down for Jesus. He died for his sins. Lay your money down for Jesus. It's the dead he's calling in. When they pass that hat around, be sure and lay your money down. Lay your money down for Jesus. You owe your life to him. Tell him, brother. Well, you can have all your riches, all your diamonds and gold. But they don't mean a thing if you lose your wretched soul. Jesus died on the cross, and he was without sin. And now it's time to do your part, so send your money in. Lay your money down for Jesus. He died for his sins. Lay your money down for Jesus. It's the dead he's calling in. When they pass that hat around, be sure and lay your money down. Lay your money down for Jesus. You owe your life to him. Lay your money down for Jesus. You owe your life to him. Yes, to him. Yeah. And you cruel, snakish devil, let God cure the arthritis with which you afflict these people's souls. What's this one, honey? Deafness. Sorry. <laughs> Lord, you have afflicted these people with deafness. We pray you restore to them the gift of sound. We sinned. We cheated. We, uh, we took drugs with... Help me, Jesus. Naked women. This one night, after the Dallas game, your show was on. And I didn't know I was listening, but I must have been hearing, because suddenly I, I found myself crying. Praise God. My buddies, they thought I was having a nervous breakdown when my sinuses drained and my bladder emptied. But it was just that sin flowing from my body. Flow on, Jesus. Flow on. <laughs> oh, praise God. Praise him. Oh, Amen. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, major testimony from a major, major star of the football field. Another touchdown for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen.
I mean, did you ever see so many electrical thingamabobs in your life? <laughs> now, fellas, don't let old Stonewall here frighten you. He may look weird and a bit on the scrofulous side, but he has found the Lord. Now, he told me so himself. Praise Jesus. I tell you, this man is an electronic genius. There's nothing this old boy can't do with that board now that he's been goosed up with divine inspiration. Right, Stoner? <laughs> Can we let the man work? Oh. Just move over, Jimmy. Right, Shut up, uh, Billy Dean. No. You're, you're too far to the left. God damn, this place is a mess. We've been here six days. Get everything all mapped out, figured out, and planned out. See the whole operation from the balcony. All right. We meet Ricky Marcel in an hour. Who's Ricky Marcel? He's a perfect inside man. There it is. Give me Darla. Vic, pull back a little bit. Loosen that shot. Loose. Come on, loosen, loosen. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Yeah, right there. Stonewall, I don't believe you're born again. You don't? Boy, I wouldn't give to be sucking on those tits. Arnold. What? I don't ever want to hear you talk about that girl like that again. That girl's an angel. You like her, don't you? Do not. Do, too. Do not. You do. All right, maybe just a little. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aren't you? No, oh, no, I'm wide awake. What the hell is that? Nothing. What is that for? Nothing. Nothing. Now, what if I take nothing and blow your head off with nothing? That'd be something, wouldn't it? It sure would. Jesse! What'd I do? Guns! Nobody's gonna use them. What do you need guns in a church for? Show. This ain't no show. I know that. Calm down. You better hope I don't calm down. They're gonna put us all in jail. Nobody's going to jail. My two crazy cousins just got out. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. You want to do something for me? Marry me. Knock me up and take they got your money. That money's gone. Marry me. It's fifty thousand dollars. Oh God, I'm begging a man to marry me. No, you're not, baby. Come here. Don't baby me. Don't touch me neither. I ain't gonna sink to this. Come here. Look at me. Trust me. I can feel Jesus. I can feel Satan in front of me. I can feel Jesus. But behind me, I can feel Satan. I can feel his hot breath at my neck. I can feel the ground. Sinking behind me. He's gaining on me. I can feel the fires of hell. I can smell the burning of the wicked. I can hear their screams. Ah! Satan, the animal is at my back. I can feel his claws. I can feel his scales and his flapping wings. I can feel his great snake-like tail wrapping round my legs. I can feel Satan trying to drag me down to hell. But... in front of me, I can feel Jesus. I can see his sweet face. I can see his beard and his strong woodworking hands reaching out for me.
I'm coming, Jesus. damn guns. Love for sale. Our Bibles for sale are full of beautiful color illustrations. Here's one right here. The caption reads, And Jesus came with fire in his eyes and fist a flying to drive the money changers from the temple. Hey, hey y'all, welcome to the Tower of Bethlehem. You folks will need to come in for about 20 minutes before the real show starts. Everything's set. It's like a Swiss watch. Come on, get out of there. I'll park your car for you. Now the Lord tells me, that someone in this section, help me, Jesus, the Lord help tells me Jesus. that someone in this section has. Help him, Jesus. Talk to him, Jesus. Stomach trouble. Me? That's me. Hallelujah. God told me that. Hey, I got stomach trouble. Sit down. But they can't help you. Nothing helps. Your pain and your agony keeps you awake at night. That's right. That's right. God told me that. Hallelujah. And God told me that he wants you to be well. Oh, hallelujah. Do Praise you want to be well? Yes. Do you want to be well? Yes. Then you are slain in the spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord tells me that someone in this section has or has had a problem with alcohol. Me. Where the hell have you been? Got no keys? I need that. So when you unscrew the lid, that bottle of cheese, Satan's inside there grinning up. Arnold. Put it back. Put in some piggy banks. It's too big here. I'm taking Jesus. All right. Hey, Daryl. It's Ricky. Uh-huh. What you got with you? Oh, hell, these folks are from Shreveport. Come on. No! Please, you said you had everything set. I do. Nobody gets hurt. All right, all right. Listen, you hold on to my gun. They got a metal detector in there. Hey, girls. Terrence, how you doing? Okay, the alarm's turned off now. Everybody just do as you told me. Behave. Hold it. Hands up, everybody. Uh, we go to hell. We'll just be a second here. Guess y'all can go home early today, huh? So you nice ladies don't get the wrong idea. We're just taking back what belongs to my girlfriend here. Hey, go. Get the money. Kenny, I hear you've got a song prepared for us. Oh, yeah. I'm nervous. I'm no singer. But I'm going to do this one for the Lord. All in his name. Praise him. It's like my old coach at Florida State used to say, and I think it holds true on so many subjects today. You do not become a football overnight. Clear. Yes, here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this 
power of Bethlehem prayer cloth, embossed with the likeness of the hands of Ray and Darla, can be yours for a pledge of as little as ten dollars. Give me the key to the safe back there. Oh, oh, oh baby, you got it. How much have we got so far? About three hundred thousand. The rest of the week in the back safe. Jesse, they owe me nearly this much. You take any more, it's just greed. What the hell? They could. What about ours? There. That's mm. with hairs. Do it. Eddie, I got a silent alarm at Bethlehem Studios. I'll go take a few cars, find the sheriff. what it is. It's them mountains. That's what it is. What throw my aim all off. If we was in Louisiana, we'd have us a stack of ducks. I mean. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet Marie. Uh, now, what them fools want? All right, to clean the damn fish. Eating fish again, I swear. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. This is Sheriff LeBeau. What the hell y'all want? So many of the people here and at home, because I get so many cards and letters asking me about my clothes and my makeup. And Come on. Even though I know that God has his eye on even the sparrow, who's just a tiny little brown bird. I love the Lord so much. I just don't want to take a chance on him missing me. Oh, shit. Come on. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. And I like to make myself tall and shiny, so God up in his heaven will look down and say, there she is, my little lightning. Man, that wife of yours. She's going good. She is going nuts. She's just nervous. She's, uh, high strung. Oh, now, you listen here, Ray Boy. You got everything you could want here. Money, cameras, audiences, everything you need to serve God. Now, we give it, and we can take it away. Really? Yes, now, that wife of yours might be having a big-ass period some night. Get out in front of them audiences and flat snap all together, embarrass us all to death. Hell, that woman could embarrass God. Now, Jim, Well, she could. And that's what that the word embarrass means. It means you got your fair ass hanging out. Here I am, Lord. And I want to be yours. Oh, sweet little Jesus, baby. All right, come on. Go, 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 man. Get the van. Don't be afraid, ma'am. Police are right outside. Goddamn, Ricky. Perfect plan. Shit! Jesse, Jesse! Well, well, what did we do with the money? Take it. We're gonna get away. Not in the nature of my 
make a fast move, a false start. But Delilah, you yeah. touch me, and river starts running oh, up and down my spine. Just oh, tell it to me. Here. Yes, sir. All of us couldn't have made it. The other way. When Kenny first came to us, he was a destroyed human being. You heard his testimony. He was a wreck, a human wreck, tossing on a sea of... A pillar of society, a, a tall ship among men. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. And this, my friends, is your victory. Your money has turned this young man's life around. Amen. And now here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jolla Ford. Them Razorbacks, huh? <laughs> Arnold, get to that booth. Okay. Hi, right, how y'all doing? Keep us on the air. All right. Who are you? I'm the end of your world. <sighs> oh, Lord, not again. We want to stay on I'm on uppers, I'm insane, I'm crazy, I just got out of jail. And I guess y'all know what these are, don't you? <laughs> Whatever you want, brother, it is yours. Is all this going out? Can people at home see Jesse? We have underground feed. We transmit straight to a satellite. As long as these two small monitors on the far left have the same picture, we're on the air. Stop. Oh, shut up! So no cop outside can turn this off, right? Brother, they set this up so Satan himself couldn't turn it off. Well, I guess they never figured Satan be at the wheel, did they? Get away from that exit! All right, nobody move. Nobody talk. Now, come on, everybody. Calm down, calm down. That's it, that's it, that's good. That's good, now just everybody relax. Nobody's gonna get hurt. All right. 
Hey, you. Get that camera on me. <laughs> All right. All right, stop! Stop! Back out right now. Before we start shooting. Back out! We're your dead meat. Right now. Move! Back out. Hey, no hard feelings? Down, boys. What in the hell are we supposed to do now? You're doing great. Jesse! There. Which one's on TV? Right here, program. The chick with the gun. Let's see a shot, Jesse. All right! What are you doing? Trying to save your life. <laughs> what the hell are you supposed to be? <laughs> All right, move out the way, please. Now, what are you gawking at? You go on about your business. Sheriff! Sheriff, the governor's on the phone. He wants to know if you want the National Guard. Hell no! Hi, folks. Welcome to the Jesse Wilkes Religious Hour. Oh, me. That's right. Look at that. Folks, I've never been on TV. Look like before. his head ain't screwed on right. Oh, look like that fucking brother of yours. This is what you people out in TV land. Sure do, don't you? Find out who this guy is. Praise the Lord. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Right, turn it down. Thanks. Now listen to me. I don't want any bloodshed. Come on now, we work this out without killing people. It's a little late for that, Sheriff. You just kill one of my associates. No, no, now come on. Hold on here, man. That ain't been confirmed. Now you listen. You answer me true now. Has you killed anybody? Hell no. Not yet. Sheriff. As long as my pretty face is showing up in TV land, nobody gets hurt. All right. Sheriff. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean it. Don't touch that dial. Right, Jesse, I hear you. Now, I'm going to do that for you. Now, I want you to do something for me. You turn loose all them people in there. Sheriff, this ain't my first rodeo, partner. Man, you have got yourself a thousand hostage in there. Now, why you want that many? How you going to keep your eye on that many? I'm afraid somebody going to got hurt. It's simple, Sheriff. You let us go, we let them go. Goodbye. God damn it, assholes. Turn on the goddamn television. Now, either you folks out there do what I say, or I'm going to blow the preacher's wife's head off on TV. Who is that son of a bitch? He's a damn cute. No, he's a damn nigger. I'll go. The latest information from the crisis site is that the terrorists are, in fact, Nicaraguan infiltrators. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Call old Papa. Oh, Papa! Did they shoot Preacher's wife on TV? Sheriff, if you have to come in here with guns blazing to capture these animals, don't concern yourself with my fate. Amen. Amen, Darla. Amen. I have no fear for the Lord stands with me. Amen, Darla. Amen. You people at home, don't be frightened. Know how lucky you are to be witnessing the prophecies come true. To see the devil incarnate, exposing his true colors right here on our show. Wait a second. If I'm the devil, then who the devil are you? Why ain't they doing nothing? Blow that ass wipe away. I'll go get my car. Here. Why the hell ain't they doing nothing? He's kind of cute. You're running a Las Vegas sideshow here. I offer hope and salvation. Oh, yeah, what price, Reverend? 
You know how many people you've turned away from Jesus? And how many people will you bring to Jesus with a gun in your hand? Go on, go sit down. Praise the Lord. What are you doing? Let him go. I know what I'm doing. Now, you know, I somehow find that hard to believe. I mean, we're on TV. <laughs> yeah. Child of darkness. Now, you don't need these good people. I'm the one you want. I've been waiting all my life to do battle with you face to face. Sheriff, you sound like a good old boy. So I'm gonna play a little ball. I'm gonna let the audience go. Let the call girls go too. But everybody else stays. Good. Now we make us a stop. Get me a confirmation on the casualties. An accurate one. I don't think they killed anybody. Jesse, Jesse, listen now. You stay yourself real, real calm. I'm coming right down there. Maybe we'll even get you on TV. Man, I'll tell you, if it take my ugly mug to get us out of this mess, I'll be happy to make my big debut. <laughs> OK, mm -hmm. see you soon. No, I can't. What do you say, Arnold? Want to smoke a joint? Sure. Homegrown, good stuff. Oh, shit? Mm hmm. Stone. Oh, sorry, Lee, you want to hit? No, yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> what are you doing working in a place like this? It don't matter where you're at outside. Only thing that counts where you're at inside. You believe in reincarnation? I'm in touch with 27 of my past incarnations. 27? You know, the psychic back in San Quentin told me that in my past life, I was a handmaiden to Marie Antoinette. And I don't even know who she was. Well, she was a, a queen of France. They chopped off her head. Oh, shit. I'm not at liberty to say, Arnold. Oh, come on. I can't. Come on. I can't. Come on, please. Just give me a hint. Four score and seven years ago, I... That was you? Don't tell anybody. I won't. Bull, heard it on the radio. Bubba, call your ma. Tell her to open up the gun room. And Bubba, tell her to get some more. Here at the Tower of Bethlehem, at least a dozen persons have been reported killed. No, ma'am, at first we thought it was just one of Darla Porter's production numbers, right? Well, could have been. Yeah. Sheriff, thank God you're here. As far as I can tell, so far no one's been hurt with that kid we shot up, and he's not dead yet. I want this area secure. Get these people out of here! Right, We're gonna lose people if we don't get these people gone. Now go! Right, Ten million people gonna see it on now. TV. I want this run just like there was no TV. You got me? There is, Sheriff. Take that. Now, are any of our people inside? Well, there was some, but they backed out. They did what? They backed out. Sheriff, he's talking to you. Well, Sheriff, what do you have for me? Well, Jesse, we've spoken to the people down there, and... Oh, I hate to interrupt you, Sheriff. But did you know there's a bunch of women locked in a room downstairs? Yes, we got them out already. Oh, that's good. I do appreciate you telling me that, though. You piss in. Hey, Anna! Yeah? Get a camera on me. Stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, these two old boys here used to run a country and western show down in Memphis. And one of these bastards beat my band out of $300. You know, I cannot tell you two apart. But one of you sons of bitches, you wouldn't pay five hungry pickers. Hey, man, you were drunk. It was you. I was drunk because you wouldn't pay us. He is lying. 
It's crazy in there, Sheriff. Now's the time to rush him. We don't want to let him get settled down. I want them settled down. We don't know how many people are in there, and you were the one that was in there in the first place. Take them boots off. What? What? Them boots, them $300 boots. Get them off. Come on, hurry up. This is show business. Live TV. Get them off. Now, let's just set them right over here. Come on. Step back. I think you're going to like this one. Jesse, Jesse, is everything all right in there? Jesse, God damn it, come back to me, boy! I better get these kids out of here. There's gonna be a bloodbath on TV. Oh, let them watch. Well, it ain't gonna be PG. Oh, hush up. Why doesn't the sheriff blow his ass to hell? What do I have to do it for him? Sheriff, we're starting to get calls from all over the country. This is embarrassing. I want you to stop that broadcast. Stop it now. Yeah. No. I told the boy I was not going to turn that television off, and I ain't going to do it no matter how much you squeal at me. Now, hush up before he hears you. <sighs> Jesse, son, can't even see you in there. Come on now. There's too many people in there. Something is bound to happen. You do me a favor now. We turn loose the children in the choir, then you and me, we can sit down and we can talk this thing through. I don't know, Sheriff. Jeff, where, where are you going? He's right. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Let him go. No, I have something to bargain with. Jesse. Hold... Ah. What's the matter, Arnold? They're gonna let the choir go. I don't know. I thought I'd get to meet some nice girls. You know, some of these religious girls really have a thing for cons. Shit. Oh, we were doing so good. Oh, wow, she's beautiful. She is, isn't she? Yes, yeah, I like her. Just lie back on me now. Well, my girlfriend twisted my arm, Sheriff, so okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna let the band and the men in the choir go free right now, but I'm gonna keep the TV crew. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have to keep the angels, too. In return, Sheriff. <laughs> Help, a Make him look funny. Hell out of here. Why not? Jesse, you keep working with me. I promise you, I am going to work with you. Work with him? Shoot the son of a bitch! Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's funny. Get those people back! Get them back! It's been a goddamn party! Get down there, Hatch! You get on the horn, you tell them I got everything under control. You hear me? Okay, Sheriff, now watch. I'm gonna show a little faith. All the boys stand up. Hands up. Now go on, get the hell out of here. Hold it, boys. What seems to be the problem? We, the men of the Tower of Bethlehem Choir, refuse to budge until all of us are free. Well, folks, you can see what I'm up against here. Hey, Arnold, do you want to come down here for a minute? Forever, if you don't mind. Arnold, why don't you tell these religious God-fearing people just what you're going to do if they don't leave? All right. Well, folks, I just got out of prison, so you'll have to excuse my language, but... I think I'll take old Ray here. And then? <laughs> and pull down his trousers. And then? And then? And then? And then? And then They're going to butt fuck the preacher on TV. Move it! Y'all come back, OK? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arnold Lippitt, let's hear it for him. Come on, give me the applause. No, no, push that thing. Give me the applause up oh. here. Here's the applause. <laughs> da -da, da -da. Hey, let's go blow them camel jockeys to hell. Jonesy, I got the gun room loaded in the truck. I'm coming. I'll go get my two barrel. Here it is, folks. And that's just a couple days to take. I don't get it. You could send your money to poor people who need it, but instead you send it to rich people. Hey, comrade, or whatever the hell you call yourself. 
That's our ministry's money. Ministry, huh? But what about your two Rolls Royces, your private jet, your house in Palm Desert, the one in Bermuda? That's what I figured. Sheriff? 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 Sheriff, he's Sheriff? back again. Get out the way. Sheriff. Son of Sheriff? I'm coming, Jesse. I'm coming. Where are you, Sheriff? As the Lord told Ezekiel when the sanctuary was defiled, shortly will I pour out my fury onto thee and judge thee according to thy Sheriff. ways. Sheriff. And I shall punish thee for all thy abominations. Violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness. Please, please, calm down. Now, come on. Stop hiding from me, Sheriff. I know you're out there. What the hell's the matter with his face? Well, I think that's coming from in there. All right. Jesse? Jesse? I ain't got him. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We move in right now. One more word out of you, and you are out of a job. You understand me? Do you understand me? Sheriff, I'm getting impatient. You want me to shoot somebody? Jesse? Je I ain't getting him. Sheriff. Sheriff, the governor's coming in from Municipal Airport. Keep him out in the parking lot with the reporters. I don't want him anywhere near this right, building. Copy that. Sit on him. Oh, Arnold! I need God you. damn it, boy! Hold on! Son, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll be with you in just a minute. Sheriff, there's only four of them. All they got is pistols. Have you ever been shot by a pistol? Oh. <sighs> Alan, this situation has just got to be brought under control. Now, you're our governor. You got this firepower. We expect you to use it. God damn it, Alan. We about put you in office. Yes, you did. That studio represents our whole cash flow. Yeah, I hear you. And this Cajun sheriff just won't do what he's told to do. That's why I'm here, Jim Bob. Yeah, well, we got you elected. So we want results. Anything you want, Jim Bob. It's done. You won't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. We got us a surprise guest. Come on out here. <laughs> Mr. Lucifer. You look kind of horny in that hey, outfit. <laughs> How y'all doing there? Whew. Hey, I'd like to show the kids at home something if I could. I think that would be nice. <laughs> well, kids need energy, right? They sure do. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need them anyway. Son, don't you know you're gonna wind up in jail? <laughs> Threatening Arnold with Jeff, like sending him to his room. <laughs> yeah, I only get out for a couple weeks at a time before he send me back. Oh, hey guys, if you're watching, I'll see you real soon. I gotta go. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Lucifer. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay, let's hear it for him. Come on, ladies, let's hear it for Mr. Lucifer. How was I? I pray you be touched by the Holy Spirit. Oh. Relax. It's love. And it's a beautiful thing, Lee. I cannot believe you are cooperating with these people. I'm trying to save lives. Your life, Ray Porter. Perhaps this is all a message from God. Hey, watching. Get that camera over there on Rain, darling. 24 hours a day. Maybe it's time you tuned in to him. Let's just get out of here alive. It's only two days' receipts. Let him take it. Bill, move in real quiet on Ray and Darla. I don't care about the money, Ray. But let me warn you, as I've had to consistently throughout this marriage, that if you stand with Satan, surely you will die with Satan. Those are tough words, Ray, from a tough lady. I'd watch out if I were you. What the hell was that all about? Beats the shit out of me. So long, may you rot in hell. I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation, asshole. Put a gag on him, will you, Arnold? Sure. So you make money and you make trouble. What good do you do? I'm gonna get your ass off the air. All you've done is improve my ratings. 
Everybody loves a car wreck. Folks, I know you support our efforts to feed the little Biafran babies and help the poor deprived children in Egypt. Hey, Ray, why don't you talk about your money? Our money. A nice home, a nice car, clothes, some food to eat. We are charged with taking more than our fair share. Now let me tell you something about us. I would estimate that on a yearly basis, oh, Dollar and I accept an amount that would total just two days of contributions. All year, 363 days a year, we slave for the Lord for free. 363 days a year, we don't work for money. We work for God. Just two days is all that we keep for ourselves. Now let's talk about yourself. You work five days a week. You get paid for Somebody's seven. Somebody's on drugs. Looks like it. You get paid for holidays, sick leave, days off. We work every day of the week. Even the Lord rested for one day, but not us. Now, I humbly submit that I will not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> While the rest of the world works a lifetime for self-aggrandizement. Bullshit. God bless you. We have just seen Daniel emerge from the lion's den. And like Daniel, the Lord is with us. And we cannot be harmed. Won't you stand, sisters, and join me as I march from this valley of death? Hang on to the helm of his garment and follow me. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Lord, that's the kind of thing we're trying to avoid. Claire? You sleep, Claire. You were incredible. I, I was pathetic. I almost killed that woman. No, no, no. You were great. Oh, Come on, Jesse. Come on. Tell me not to worry. Come on. Look me straight in the eye and tell me. Trust me. God, trust me. Trust me. Hey, Slick. Look here. Why don't you just look into that camera and tell them people let us go and you and I go have a beer. <laughs> Who are you people? Well, we're nobody. We, we just ran out of money. What you do, spend it on drugs? Yeah, yeah, some of it. We're gonna live through this. How much money you stolen in the course of your ill-spent career? I don't know, two, three hundred thousand. Where's it all gone? Well, we spent it. You know, it goes real fast. You, you pull a job and then you got a little money and then, well, we try to live like you and Darla and then pretty soon it's gone. It's a very vicious cycle. So you steal all this money and you spend it? Well, that's just plain foolish. Why don't you try to save your money? Invest it. Make it work. You know, if you have any kind of a cash flow, it's not that difficult to establish a financial base from which to work. There's always a way to amortize your losses. But what do you think about mutual funds and IRAs? Well, there's pluses and there's minuses. <laughs>
You see what I mean? My God, it's got to stop, Will man. You stop watching this damn thing. You can't believe everything that you see on TV. Governor, this is going out to 14 states and all the networks. Now, you know what that makes us look now, like. Jim Bob just God damn it, Alan. Don't you Jim Bob me. It makes us look like a bunch of assholes. No, sir, you doing that all by yourself. You hush your mouth, fuck it. Calm down, Jim Bob. Now, Sheriff, just move in there. Now, you hold on here one minute. I am an elected official. I will be damned if I take orders from all of y'all. Well, I'll give you 15 minutes, and then I'm taking over. Listen to me, you little runt. This is my jurisdiction. You cross my line, and this fuckhead is gonna blow your asses all to hell. Get the hell out of my way! I'll give you 30 minutes! Terrific. What are you doing? Got an awful lot of people outside. Oh, well, what'd you think? Arnold, camera! Come on, honey. Let's come right here. Now, I want you to tell these people. Tell these people how that bastard stole your money. Just go on. Oh, my gosh. I know who you are now. I got a fix on you. Her grandmother legally signed over her insurance policy to our ministry most generous. Yeah, two hours before she died. If you were so concerned with her, maybe you'd marry her. Or maybe you just want to sleep with her. Ray, you're a fine one to talk about marriage and promises. Christy Lynn, not now. Looks like old Ray's up to something. Is there something going on here I don't know about? There's a lot going on you don't know about. Darla, please, we're on TV. God almighty, here we are with the sword of death hanging over our head. You can't keep your mind off some pretty girls behind. Can we discuss this later? You've never been true to me. Not even on our show. People, I confess. I am a sinner, as we all are. But I thank the Lord that our God has mercy on us all. I have stood quietly by as money earmarked for Africa and Central America has gone to buy radio stations and swimming pools. And I have seen money owed to small businessmen and contractors, my cousin included, go unpaid. And I have seen those people go bankrupt. But I shall no longer stand by quietly and tolerate any more of this. And what about what I have to tolerate? You call that stuff you do singing? <laughs> Only a man of God would put you in front of a camera. I like the way she sings. Darla Porter has just accused her husband of adultery. Church leaders refuse to comment. However, a former employee of the Tower of Bethlehem has confided to this reporter that, quote, the crack of dawn ain't safe around that man. All right, everybody, let's go. Check your weapons. Stay close to me. Feels like Nam. Bubba, boy, that night, you're gonna become a man. Bubba, give your mama that. Hello. Hey. Are you okay, Miss Darla? Sit down, boy. So I want you to do something for me. Would you do something for me? I want you to play the organ for me. See, things seem to be really going to hell here. I think a little music might, what about calm things down a little bit? You can, if you can play a song, I think it'd help. Just a, a standard country and western lamp, you know, like, don, 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 don. Why aren't you afraid of me? I am afraid of you, but the Holy Spirit guides me. Do you feel the Holy Spirit? I'm starting to. <sighs> I'd just like to apologize for my weakness. We're all under tremendous pressure here. How y'all doing, folks? I'm Big Joe Becker. You know, I've been all around this great country of ours from 
California, Florida, back up to Maine. But you know, some men outside this studio tonight always treated me right. Now, they're, they're angry and they're scared and they're protecting our lives. They tell me it's cold out there. A lot of them are probably miserable. But they're dedicated. And I wrote this song for them. He goes something like this. I hope y'all like it. His daughter pulled on Oregon. When the hours seem long and doing rough, when the pay seems small and the criminals are tough, square your shoulders, call their bluff. You let them be the ones to cry enough. You're a policeman. When judges start to tie your hands with politics and raw demands, do the best you can despite demands. Remember the force for what it stands. You're a policeman. Now you shoot it out with crooks all day, or a joke they dare to call you pay. When your loved ones sit at home and pray, you're out here protecting the USA. You're a policeman. You walk into alleys and slums and dive. Murderers lurk, threatening lies. Should have lawyers and judges and lies. But all you've got are your 45s. You're a policeman. When you at last leave this worldly den, seek like more than your dice to win. St. Peter, I trust. No. Well done, my boy. Come on in. You're a policeman. Bless you for coming, gentlemen. Oh, sit down. Well, it seems that things have gotten a bit out of hand. Oh, G.W., we've been made fools out of all over the state. All over the world. Our little show here is being broadcast live to England via satellite, the one we paid for. Now, where is this baby governor? The other thing we paid for. He, he's waiting for us down there to come tell him what to do, troops and all. Then you can tell him to blow hell out of the place. Good night. Well, G.W., you, ca you can't just blow it all up. That, that studio is our cash flow. Ours and yours, G.W. I don't care about the money. This isn't about business. Those apes and hooligans have defiled my God. They have spat upon his holy temple. I'm not talking gentle Jesus now, the God of love and forgiveness. I'm talking Old Testament, the Lord God, Jehovah, the bringer of fire and flood and pestilence, and he shall have vengeance. Amen. So take the time now and cool yourself down, you hear me? Damn it. The wreck, what the hell am I supposed to do? I might as well be back in Louisiana. Same damn thing happened. Young Bucky get himself caught trying to stick up a bank. Wasn't trying to hurt nobody. He was poor. He was trying to get some money together for his bebe. Lynch him just like that. How am I supposed to live with myself if I let that happen again? Mean blood come up in people's when they run round in a pack. This boy in over his head, he don't even know it. Jim Bob, don't worry, I'll... Governor, we've got to have a cleansing by blood. Hold your fire till my command. Thanks, guys. You know, we 
we ain't uh, we ain't hurt anybody yet. We haven't even killed anybody. I think we ought to go to him and try to make a deal. See how much time would serve. Get a camera on me. You people sent $72 million to these guys last year. Hey, man. Why do you send your money to rich people? The spirit of God moved them. Folks, I'll admit it. I've been alone myself and watched that damn tube. Hey, man. I felt the false security shooting out through the airwaves. Hallelujah. I've been where you are now. Preach to him, brother. I felt the doubt. Say amen. Amen. I felt the fear. Say the fear. I felt amen. the need for some warm thing to come into my living room and into my heart and save me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's not going to happen. Tell him why. Because the tube ain't God and the tube ain't flesh and blood. And it doesn't make any difference how much money you send in. Nobody on TV is going to love you. Make your peace. Make your peace with your own soul. And turn off the goddamn television. That boy's a born preacher. All right! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> you got the gift, boy. What? Oh, don't run away from it. You're a born preacher. The camera loves you. You got the gift of electronic tongues. Jesse! I know who you are anymore, or who you think you are, or who you're trying to be, but I don't want any part of it. It's all over now. Let's go out with some dignity. Claire! Marry me. Come on. Stop! Stop! Look at me when I'm talking to you, man! Who the hell you take you are pulling my men off that building? Look, I don't want to do a raffle, but they got my balls in a vice. Now, the governor, he's making me blast them out. It's not my call, believe me. This has just gone too far. They've disgraced us all. Now, it's got to be. Sheriff, just go on. Oh, that's all gentlemen, the I'm the one that's going in there, not you. Hey, shoot that son of a bitch! Don't move, boys. You're gonna have yourself one dead governor if you do. Now, I want everybody to stay real, real still till I get myself inside, hear me? in there. I'm not going to give the order while he's in there. You have just signed your political obituary. Just let him come out and then I'll give the order. No, you're going to give that fucking order now. Jeffy. Sheriff? Come on down. You know, man, all these guns, they ain't for you, you know. They're what I had to use to get past all that artillery back there. Now, listen to me for just a minute. Here. Yeah? Hello, Sheriff. So nice you could come. Ma'am, all I want is for everybody to get out of this place alive. I believe that, Sheriff. But my fiance says we're already dead, so just give us another second here. You're just in time to be best man. Hit it, Rev. Claire Waters, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I think you know the rest. I do. And you? Hell yeah, I do. Then I now pronounce you man and wife. Hold it. Easy. Easy, Big Joe. Listen to me now. Man, you are the singing convict. And I'm the police officer. You rich, man. You gonna be famous. So you do me a favor now. Your 
old policeman, pal. You put that gun down for him, huh? Come on, man, what you say? Maybe you better kiss the bride first. Don't that nice. Oh, what the hell are you guys doing out here? Hey, Dirk. raping those girls. Oh, shit, Arnold. They're killing the preacher. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? I forgive you. What was that explosion? They got thumbs. People, we got the whole ass out of here. Sheriff? Sheriff? Girls, move your angel butts, and I mean quick! Greg! Tyler! Big, Big Joe. Big Joe! Bubba, hold this 81 millimeter for you, Mama. You goof, I didn't tell you to fire it. Oh, hell, you done shot it plumb over the building. Look, all they got in there is pistols and a two-barrel. Now, don't blow it out of proportion. That's how wars get started. Second shell. Fire! Hold your fire! I am! I'm giving the orders here! Hicks, go see who fired their mortar. Who do you think? Hold your fire! took it. The governor's ordered a chopper bomb. Damn it, this ain't Philadelphia. There are just kids in there. <laughs>
Okay, 60 seconds. ETA, 30 seconds. Stop your fire! Hold it! Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. My God, what have I done? It is the only thing you could do. Yes, this is goodbye. If what you said is really true, I'll come visit you every week. I meant it. I've seen a lot. It's all right, buddy. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you. I was forced to take a stand last night. And I want to send a message to the world that down here in Arkansas, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Swift action, without mercy, may not be the best answer. But it's the only one I can come up with for this kind of crime. That's all I have to say. Thank you. This is Mary Ellen Trenton reporting once again from the ruins of the Tower of Bethlehem with exclusive video footage of the death of the terrorists. The impact of the tragedy was shot home live into the living rooms and hearts of millions of people. Hey, you're the guy who got that footage? Is it calling you from New York? Man, you're sick. You're a genius. What's your name? Uh, Jack Meyer. Stonewall Jack Meyer. Mr. Jack Meyer, just hold on one second. We're going to do stand-up. Hey, Rob. Well, uh, I, I really believe that the industrial technological era is over and that we're moving into the intuitive and that means that a man has to look for the light and follow the light and be on the side of the light as much as he possibly can because really that's all there is that's all there is is love and light you son of a bitch 
and hopefully all of those who have experienced this tremendous event. Any comments, Sheriff? All of those will look for the light and the love. Yeah, it's a damn shame them kids had to die. your money. Just what they owed you. My life of crime's over. Yeah? What you gonna do now? Well, I married you. So I guess I'll knock you out and take up farming. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm not concerned that a building has been destroyed. Jesus doesn't live in a TV studio. He lives in my heart. The Bible tells us Jesus drove the merchants from the temple. Somehow they got back in there via satellite on the air. You can't buy the key to heaven from a preacher on TV. He's just a smooth-talking businessman, as far as I can see. He's cashing in on Jesus, and it just can't be ignored. Glory, hallelujah, pass the ammo, praise the Lord. He can't guarantee salvation. It's not something you can say. He won't lead you into paradise or keep you from going to hell. So let's all give the preacher what he's been asking for. Glory, hallelujah, pass the ammo, praise the Lord. Give me a witness. Oh. Give me a witness. I've been born again. You can't buy the key to heaven from a preacher on TV. He's just a smooth-talking businessman, as far as I can see. He's cashing in on Jesus, and it just can't be ignored. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is not something you can sell. He won't lead you into paradise, keep you from going to hell. So let's all give the preacher what he's been asking for. Glory, hallelujah, pass the ammo, praise the Lord. Give me a witness. From a preacher on TV He's just a smooth-talking businessman As far as I can see He's
passion and on Jesus, and it just can't be ignored. Glory, hallelujah. As the ammo, praise the Lord. Ooh. 